Hi guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient update. So let's go ahead and get started. To kick things off this week, I wanted to show everyone the video of Golden Eagle 2-9 being released back to the wild. Remember this bird came in after dealing with a subclinical lead level and a fractured coracoid and we're all really excited to see him back in the wild. Here he is getting released into a town called Antelope, Wyoming, which is right near Evanston, Wyoming, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but perfect habitat for a golden eagle. Moving right along to our current patients is Black-Billed Magpie 72, and this juvenile magpie was found on the ground in Wilson, Wyoming with an eye infection. You can see in this next photo that the infection is actually only in her left eye. So the photo before was her right eye. You can almost see it in the mirror here. We've got a mirror in there so that it looks like she's got some magpie buddies in there with her. Um, and she's on a course of medicated eye drops three times a day to eliminate that infection in her eye. Next up, we've got Common Raven 614, and this bird was found imprinted in Etna, Wyoming, and will unfortunately not be returning to the wild. However, instead, we do plan to transfer this young corvid to another facility where it can serve as an, edu as an educational ambassador for its species. Um, you can see here it's very comfortable around humans, and staff have been working with this bird several times a day to offer positive experiences around humans, um, giving it food, and just spending time with it so that it can develop good trust around people. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 610, and this bird is currently living in an enclosure off of the flight barn. We were flying this bird, but found um, that this bird during flight had a slight wing droop and was flying asymmetrically so we suspected that there could have been a wing injury that we may not have seen upon intake sometimes with these wing injuries the trauma is so small and is barely seen in an x-ray so it's oftentimes hard to diagnose until that bird starts flying so in the meantime we have him on cage rest as well as on a course of anti-inflammatory pain medication uh, he's gaining weight really nicely and we're happy to see his body condition return to a normal and safe level here we have great horned owl 528 and this bird is receiving cold laser therapy two to three times per week. And this will help promote healing in that right shoulder. Remember, this is the bird that was found entangled in baling twine and was just dangling from her wing. So it's still a bit sore and uncomfortable. So she's still on cage rest, but has moved to a larger enclosure where she's got more space and ability to move Last but not least is Bald Eagle 210, and this bird is undergoing flight conditioning in the flight barn. Although her flight isn't perfect, it's not super symmetrical, we are still seeing small improvements and we still think she can be released. All right, that's all we've got for this week. I hope you all enjoyed learning more about our birds and I look forward to talking with you guys next week. Remember that if you wanna do your part to help keep wild birds wild, you can check out our website at tetonraptorcenter.org and make a donation. Bye.